we had to evacuate our studio yesterday. Um, like, right before taping the show, because of a fire, I know Whoopi Goldberg on The View said, I started the fire. Whoopi, you don't want this smoke. I did not start that fire. <laughs> this <laughs> Emmy-winning host is so hot. Her talk show has been renewed for a sixth season and is quite literally so hot, she set her daytime TV set on fire. Plus, she's a best-selling author whose newest crime fiction book, Watch Where They Hide, is out now. Please welcome the scorching Tamron <laughs> Hall to the <laughs> show. Literally Girl, on fire. Whoa, cool it down. That intro, really? You have people talking now. No, really? For sure. People always talk about you. It was announced earlier today that you have been, congratulations, nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Daytime oh. Talk Series host. Oh my gosh. Um, and while you were backstage getting ready, we actually exclusively on this show uh, told everyone the nominations for Outstanding Daytime Talk Series. You Would you like to news? hear who they are? <laughs> well, you broke the news to my mom and my team, so I would love to know because it's an honor. So I'll, I'll listen. Okay, so Here Kelly Clarkson Show, Jennifer Hudson Show, no. Turning the Tables with Robin Roberts, The View, mm -hmm. and that's it. Just kidding, it's you, Tamron oh, Hall! Tamron Hall! You are nominated again! Congratulations! Yes. Okay, you threw me for a loop there. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, you know, it is so crazy. I, I, I am rarely speechless because I am a talk show host and I'm a child who got in a lot of trouble at, in my Catholic school with the nuns. God bless all the nuns who are watching. Um, but yeah, it, I will start crying and we won't get through this because I am living something beyond anything I could have imagined. The way you mm -hmm. have overcome your life and the people who held you back and the people who said she's not it, <laughs> the way you've risen above yeah. that and been Why it. Why are you making me cry? I'm sorry, Cameron, but Okay, but you it's cried on the Cameron Hall show, not on E! News. Yeah. You okay. just have fun. Sorry. You know, it's so crazy because to your point, I, I tell people all the time, I, you know, we know what it feels like to be the kid not picked. Mm -hmm. You know, you're on the soccer field and you're the last pick or your kid's the last pick and you're yeah. like, please, someone pick them. We are all underdogs in different ways, and I hope that my story becomes this resonant um, story of the underdog doesn't mean you're counted out. Yes. And I, I'm so appreciative to the Emmys and to you guys for rooting for me. Um, it, it's, it's surreal. I love well, it. I love it. Let's jump back to yeah. the story, though, yeah. of the fire. We're so oh. happy that you're here, and you're alive, you're okay. I'm alive. You mentioned Whoopi Goldberg in that clip. Yeah. You were, your show wasn't the only one that was evacuated. Yeah. yeah. And the ladies on The View also chimed in with what oh, happened. No, they did. Take let's a look. take a oh, look. Let's take a look. Okay. This oh, yeah. morning, we had to evacuate the studio mm -hmm. because there was a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I left my purse in my dressing room. Oh, that's... But I grabbed my phone. Very important. It's, it's one of those situations where what's the first thing you would grab? Yeah, I grabbed you know, my phone. Your phone, right? Me but, too. But I grabbed my purse. Yeah, you were ready to go. <laughs> so what was the first thing that you grabbed when you were told you well, had to evacuate the naked, building? So I was <laughs> naked, so... some clothes. No, this is Some true. underwear. I've never told... It, this. No one knows this story. I just come out of hair and makeup. I went to my dressing room. I was changing. And I was grabbing, you know, like, had a robe, and the alarm went off, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's one of those fake alarms. We've been in hotels, you're like, really, is that real? Mm -hmm. And then something said, because I do a crime series, I was like, oh, maybe this is real. And I said, grab a coat. And our wardrobe at this point is only spring and summer, but there was one coat, and I put on the coat because I was not about to be on OnlyFans. <laughs> so I said, let me put a coat on, and I walked out without a coat. But this is the great part. Our show couldn't air, so the news was broke on The View. So everyone's like, oh, the ladies of The View. Meanwhile, I'm out there cold, <laughs> watching hot firefighters put out the fire, and they are breaking the news there. Well, you're not just on fire there. You're also on fire because 2024 Emmy nominee, but you're also a best-selling author. You know that I'm a big fan of your books. Thank if you need a spring, summer, beach read, mystery that is a page turner, Watch Where They Hide is your newest one. Yeah. Tell us all about that. And of course, you're headlining the um, LA Times Book Festival I'm this so weekend. I'm so excited. Yeah. My first time ever uh, at the LA Times Festival of Books. But Jordan Manning is a character that I created inspired by my life as a reporter, but also taken from the show that I did for six seasons, Deadline Crime with Tamron Hall, that still airs and reruns, by the way. But it really is a glimpse of this woman, this reporter who is the person, if ever you're in trouble, you want to call her. I know there's a list of people that might come to mind, your mom, your dad, your best friend. Don't call them. Call Jordan, Jordan. Manning. And yeah. so she's this protagonist who is 
um, kind of like a, a bloodhound, and, and she solves mysteries and solves crimes, inspired by my love of Nancy Drew, Agatha Christie, Walter Mosley, all of these great crimes, all written in this perspective of a journalist. That's it's amazing. a fantastic read. Thank fantastic you. Read. That's amazing. You've also got a cookbook. Yes, I do, and it's not on fire. Cook. Yeah, is, no, wait a minute. No, Whoopi tried to ruin me, saying I caused that fire because she knows I cook. Tell me you wasn't burn. testing these recipes that burned down this not kitchen. Not that day, not oh, that day. It was another day. <laughs> <It's a tr> <laughs> there was another I, fire. One we of don't the know things about. that people don't know, I cook uh, probably, I don't know, four or five times a week. The best seat in the house, I feel, is the seat at your table in your mm -hmm. home. I, I live a very lucky life, and you get invited to great restaurants, and that's amazing, but there's nothing better than calling friends or having, my son is four, he's about to be five in a few days, hey Mosey, and having dinner. And so this is a love letter to my father who was the cook in our house, and I'm super excited because I wanna help people build their confidence. So it's no pressure, ease, yep. but delicious, flavorful recipes that I think will build your confidence in the kitchen as I've built mine. I love it, we could talk yeah. to you all day. Yeah. Three words of uh, describing Don Lemon's wedding before we go, ah. break. Drinks, drinks, and then I saw somebody standing on a table. I love it. <laughs> Tamron, thank you so much for being here. Watch Where They Hide is available now. Tamron's new cookbook, A Confident Cook, comes out September 3rd. Make sure to catch her talk show, Tamron Hall, Emmy nominated every weekday.